Hello students. Today in this video we are going to see about dramatic monologue. Now while writing appreciation many times you use the word monologue. You say that the, uh, the poem is a dramatic monologue or a monologue. Now what is monologue exactly? For example the poem the world is mine. What do you say while writing the appreciation? You have used the word monologue. So what exactly is monologue? We are going to see in this video. So what do you mean by mono? Mono means single, alone, solitary. Now when the person uh, expresses his thoughts and as a, in the form of speech and when he doesn't expect any response from the audience, at that time, we are say, we can say that the poem is in the form of monologue. Monologue, dramatic monologue became very popular in the Victorian age at the hands of Robert Browning, Tennyson and other poets. Robert Browning has used it a lot and thereby many a time he is referred to as father of dramatic monologue. Now, what are the characteristics of dramatic monologue and what exactly dramatic monologue is? Dramatic monologue is a type of poetry in, in, uh, written in the form of a speech of an individual character. Always remember whenever we are saying monologue, that means the person, the one who is addressing. It can be the poet or it can be an imaginary person who is addressing the People, we don't even know who are who is among who is considered as audience or who are the people listening. Now, this person addresses and expresses his thoughts, and thereby many things we come to know about him and sometimes even about the people who are listening. So, whenever you use the word monologue, what does it mean? Mono means single, alone. Okay, so a person is speaking his thoughts in the form of a speech. He is explain, expressing his thoughts and the audience usually don't respond. We assume that it is meant for the readers or unknown people. Hmm? Usually the poet expresses his thought like in the poem, the world is mine. What does the poet do? The poet is sharing an incident he is narrating the incident yes do we have other other one who are responding to the no we don't see any other thing so in this type of poem in these type of poem whenever you are using the word monologue it means a single person is addressing always remember second thing you should always remember is that the usually the odd the there are no other character who responds. Only one person is speaking. He reveals his thoughts. He reveals his thoughts and ideas. And it can be the thought of poet or it can be the thoughts in general. Like in this poem that is the world is mine. What do you, uh, what is the poet discussing with you? He discussing how he, on the way to, uh, on the way in the bus he saw a girl who was unable to walk, how he saw a boy hmm, who was unable to hear and uh, to speak. So he is expressing his thought, he is expressing his ideas and he is also conveying the message that he is the lucky one. So uh, monologue, mono means single, a solitary, a alone, someone who is speaking and usually why the word dramatic has been used in drama. The thoughts are spoken loudly for the audience to listen to hear. Even these poems are meant to be uh, spoke, uh, re read aloud to understand the gist what is to be conveyed. Many beautiful monologues has been written by different poets, especially by the poets of Victorian age. Robert's, Robert Browning's poem, uh, My Last Touches, is a very famous monologue where you will find all the characteristics of monologue in the poem. So what is a monologue? A person is addressing to the unknown audience, to the unknown speaker. 
the person is usually expressing his thought expressing his thoughts through a narrative and giving certain uh, illustrations example and it can he conveys a thought a message through his experiences i hope you might have understood the poem so whenever next time you use the word monologue you should understand its meaning and what is the meaning mono a single person expressing his thought conveying his thoughts through the use of poem to in the form of poem addressing unknown speakers who are usually not responding they are passive listener only the person who is speaking is active and he is actively conveying his thought through the speech i hope you might have understood the topic do subscribe to the channel for enriching your english thank you